Yes, Hashim, I'm sorry used to for, learning, for teaching, for rebuking, and so on. Hashim, sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry to, sorry to interrupt the conversation, researcher, but uh, Brother David from Ripple Project, I think he's, okay. inshallah, ready to take a shahada, and he's not got a lot of time. So we're going to bring him on, all right? Sorry, okay. uh, researcher. Just stick around, no worries. We'll finish yep. you up in a minute, one second. Um, so I'm just going to mute you, just for now, yep. all right, my friend? Okay, David. Assalamu alaikum. How you doing, my man? Good day. Yeah, I'm good, Darren. How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, I, I heard you're ready to surrender. Yeah, yeah. I think I've done that already a couple of weeks ago. But um, like you said today, it's, uh, if you already believe in certain things, the rest is like a life journey. Anyway. So Alhamdulillah. I think I've told you. I told you in the private chat anyway, uh, in Messenger, that my questions are fairly small and not really has nothing much to do with the foundations of belief subhanallah beautiful just in case people know who who david is mashallah david um he you came onto the stream um on the gospel stream isn't it and you you were kind of uh, angry with us that we kind of uh, took away the foundations of what you believed um and al alhamdulillah um now you're ready to grasp onto something that you can hold on to that nobody can take away from you inshallah yeah yeah i came on to to shout and scream at you and <laughs> but you you make you, you make it you make it very hard to hate you no we try we try but people think i'm this angry uh fat ginger guy but i'm, I'm very amicable very nice i'm a mirror for people you see people come with me stupidity then i'll make them look stupid but people come pleasant and nice then i'm i'm, I'm a nice guy all right, so you ready to take shahada, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. All yes. right. Okay, yeah. So repeat after me. We'll do it in Arabic first, uh, and then English. Okay, I'll go slow. Don't worry. Uh, so they... I've 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 watched many of the streams and I've um, practiced it a bit. So. Oh, this should be good then. All right. So you ready? So hashadu. Hashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu? Ashadu. Anna? Anna. Muhammadan? Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That none has the right to be worshipped. Not has the right to be worshipped. But Allah. For Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. Muhammad. Is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of God. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Yeah. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Oh, mashallah. Allah. Just so you know, you're now, your sins all wiped clean. You're a newborn baby now, my brother. And you've joined the family. Yeah. You've joined the yeah. Ummah. You're not alone. Even if you feel alone when you're in your environment, you're not alone. You're connected. And right. um, right. you, 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 you stay in touch with us now, inshallah. And we'll help you and guide you. And all these questions you've got on the journey you're going to be on, we're here for you. <laughs> Subhanallah. Amazing. Thanks, Thanks Hams. No problem, the my brother. Um, man, like, can I say David, something? Like, no. um, you know, I've, uh, I was a very bad person towards Muslims. I've, um, you know, I never knew anything about it. It was all just for laughs, and you know, I never understood anything about Muslims. It was just for fun. We used to do all these things. I hope I can be forgiven for all that. You know, all the, just the everything is forgiven. Trolling and just, I feel so. Yeah. Just you know, I've, I, I I went on a journey last week, and I went to a cave nearby, and that's you know like where 
the, the Prophet Muhammad um, had a revelation, you know, so I, I went to a cave as well. And, you know, when when these feelings came over me, I had these flashbacks of all the wrong things that I've done and said towards Muslims. And you know, I started screaming and screaming. And it's just, I just feel so, so ashamed of all those things that I've done. And I, I hope you all, all can forgive me for that as well. Brother, I'll, I'll put something in perspective for you. The, the, um, there was a, a Muslim uh, Sahaba called Khalid bin Walid. And he was one of the biggest enemies of Islam. And he was one of the reasons why at the second battle, the Battle of Uhud, that the, the Muslims were defeated. And he was the greatest uh, military commander from our perspective. He never lost a battle, even against the Muslims. And alhamdulillah, he, he became a Muslim and defender, and became the safe of Allah, the sword of Allah. So you might have said horrible things to Muslims. This is a guy who killed Muslims in battle, killed companions of the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, in battle. And yet, subhanAllah, once he accepted Islam, everything before it is gone. So don't worry about these things. You're now fresh, newborn. And I say this to many people because, you know, people get upset with Islamophobes saying horrible things about Muslims. And I always say this, bigger haters of Islam than you are my Muslim brothers today. It's just you just don't know no better. And it's fine because the world we're in now, it, it, it's the, the, the cards are stacked against you. See, what, what happens with Islam is the treasure. But what's happened, the treasure's been buried and it's had manure put on top of it. So no one wants to go near it. And so we have the job of shifting the manure to show you the treasure. But once you see the treasure, subhanAllah, that's it. So, you know, but when people try to point to the treasure, you just see a pile of horse manure. Did you get me? So, um, alhamdulillah, uh, like I say, you, you're a newborn baby today, David. SubhanAllah. You, you, you're newborn. Your journey begins now. Your, your baby steps, you know, inshallah, you've said the first pillar of Islam, which is the Shahada. We're going to be with you every step. Don't worry about that. We're going to hold your hand as much as we can. And the next step is the prayer. And um, we're going to help you with that. And we'll connect you to people in your environment. So we'll around you. If you don't know Muslims, we'll find connections for you. No problem at all, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've found Muslims in the last week and... Uh... They've assisted me with her books and uh, 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 all time Ottoman scholar or something. Uh, I'm reading a book called uh, "The Miracles of Muhammad." So, it's very yeah. your, your connection's cutting out a little bit, David. Uh, excuse me, one second. No problem. I can see the doctor was getting emotional, mashallah. You could hear the emotion in Brother David's uh, voice. Oh, no, no. It was, uh, you know, it's it, the, when the truth is clear, it's compelling. And you could see that uh, the, the journey, hearing the, the fact that the, the Gospels can't stand on their own, doing the research and coming to the conclusion and Allah then guides you. And he, that's a big journey to take. And uh, brothers, in what led the way is the sincerity and the humbleness of the individual. May Allah, you, you've made us uh, uh, very humble today, brother. Mashallah. Welcome to the religion. And as brother Hamza said, the past isn't for you. You're in a state of purity that surpasses anyone here listening, watching anything. Unless unless someone is born at this very moment, they're not going to be purer than you because your sins, everything is gone from the past. And in that light, we'd ask you to make dua for all of us. May Allah guide us all and keep Amen. our pure and make our work more effective for, for, for his sake. And for any of the brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering an illness, um, uh, pray for their health and, uh, and pray, for the, pray for us all, brother, because you're in a, in a place of purity now in terms of your soul. And may Allah keep you that way, inshallah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I think Gavin I will be saying, next. Uh, Sure. I'm currently reading a book, uh, The Miracles of Muhammad, and it was it has been very enlightening. It's, it's a scholarly material full of references, and I think Darren Hamza can explain. I've been talking to him in Messenger. I, my mind goes really deep into things, and I like to cross-reference and check things. Uh, we spoke a few days back on uh, regarding Chapter 9, In the Name of Allah, Most Merciful, Most Gracious. To me, that uh, maybe Darren can explain a bit more. But to me, that had a somewhat of a serious impact. 
how we're finding the 114 uh, chapters in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. I discovered that one of the chapters did not start with that. And then uh, when I looked into that chapter in chapter nine, I noticed even though it didn't start with that, the message of Allah being merciful and compassionate contained all over that chapter. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, as I said to Darren, I said, this is, this is triggering my OCD. If there's 114 chapters, I expect it to be 114 times. So then I downloaded the Quran app and then I, I typed in that in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful in the Arabic. And then I, I took out every single chapter that contained the verse, including chapter nine. And then I found one chapter, which is the chapter the ant. And I found that same passage referenced twice in chapter ant, and which counted up to 114. And I said, oh my God, I said, this is amazing. Uh, personally, for, for me, that, that just, it was like, wow, this is like so perfect in every way. I really don't have an excuse. Everything else will come later on. Shavid, you're going to love Islam. Before, before you go, I just, wanna, I just want to say two things. The first is, David, you may not realize this, but if you did mistreat a Muslim in the past, it doesn't matter how many of us you mistreated, at least one of those people would have made a prayer asking Allah to guide you, and that guide was that guidance was fulfilled in you turning to Islam and saying your shahada. So those, and my second point is those same people, if they were to ever know that you became a Muslim or that even for a moment you oh. considered Islam sincerely, they would have themselves already forgiven you. And uh. my last point will be this, David. It, it, it doesn't matter what you may or may not have done. The true sign of repentance is that you regret. So acknowledging for your own self that this may have been an issue in the past shows the transformation that you've gone on and it's resulted in your acceptance of Islam. So this for me is not something negative, but something beautiful. And, you know, I saw Dr. Imran crying. You probably can't tell I was crying as well. I just happened to have really nice glasses that so I kept them away. But the point is, oh, we love you, Brother David. Just keep that in mind. We love you. And we ask that Allah continue to shower his mercy, his blessings, and his wisdom or his hikmah upon you and your family. Amen. Okay, one, one last thing, David. What I'm going to do on Messenger, I'm going to add you to a, um, we have a, a, a Griever Brothers group, inshallah. Um, and I'm in there and the doctor's in there and all the Hiyaf Tawa team are in there. And there's new Muslims in there, mashallah. Um, I'm going to drop you in there and inshallah, ask your questions and just chill out, just relax and have a laugh. And you get me? It's not too heavy. I think it'd be good for you, inshallah. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, I shall not take it to one step at a time, Brother David. Yeah, learn the deen slowly at your pace. But obviously, through the right channels, I think Brother Hamza is going to put in the uh, with the right people, with the right connections. And that should be uh, something, I think, to find the brotherhood in Islam is something that you will definitely uh, enjoy and see how important it is for us to be connected in that sense. Um, also, as uh, uh, Brother Ijaz pointed out, I mean, do not despair the mercy of Allah because Allah mm -hmm. is in Surah Zumar where he actually addresses his servants and says those who have transgressed, those who have sinned, yes, do not despair of the mercy of Allah because Allah mm -hmm. forgives all sins. Yes, the only one he doesn't forgive is the one where you associate partners with Allah and Alhamdulillah you have declared your faith in the oneness of Allah and disassociated any other false deities other than and the only uh, true God is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which you have accepted and declared your faith today. So inshallah as the brother said you have got a clean slate now you start with a fresh um, outlook to life to your way. I know it's going to be not a walk in the park but it's, there's going to be challenges from friends, from families. But as a person who has got strong faith and strong um, grasp on your accept, uh, which shows from your acceptance of Islam by your own will, by your own uh, research. So inshallah, we pray that Allah makes uh, this path easy for you um, uh, and for all of us as Amen. well. We pray. Amen. 
uh, uh, for the guidance of everyone, inshallah, and make it easy for us and for you, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. I would like, I, I would like to say uh, one thing to everyone else that's still not a Muslim yet. Uh, it's something that uh, I, I noticed Hamza say to uh, Alizi. I was speaking, uh, sorry, I was watching the other day in the, you know, he said something that that really just gave me a king hit. I'm sure it probably gave her, a, you know, a king hit too, you know, spiritually speaking. And uh, Hamza ended it with, think about it, ponder, reflect, contemplate. And I'd like to say that to everyone else as well who's watching this series of uh, historicity in the Bible. Allah. Like I say, Gavin's not far behind you. Inshallah. Well, thanks very much, guys. Um, no problem. Like I say, we're going to be in touch with you, mate. I'll, I'll keep listening in the background, um, but I just need some time to uh, reflect. Alhamdulillah. Like I said, we're here for you. I'm just going to send you a friend request on Facebook. Just accept it, so then I can put you in the group, yeah? No worries, thanks. And now it's treating me like I'm, I'm some kind of uh, stalker. <laughs> <laughs> some random trying to add you. All right, David, you take care, my brother. And I'm going to wish you a very, very warm salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, brother. Uh, alaikum, alaikum, salam. God bless you.